Welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast YouTube channel. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across me is Cash Kraus, and this is our YouTube exclusive American Cinema Trailer Reactions. If you guys like what you see here, please be sure to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. So with that said, Cash, what are we reacting to today? Well, this is one that I'm sure probably not the average person is excited for, but I am very, very excited for. It is called The Fable Men's. And it's a 2022 coming of age, love coming of age movies. Absolutely. But this is about, this is a semi-biographical about one of the best directors of all time, Steven Spielberg, yep. which is, you know, he's not uh, in the public eye very often no. at all. But uh, yeah, he did, he did a oh, couple he of did these. He did a couple of these films. I know I was looking around at the posters. I was like, okay. We got yeah, one up yeah, here. We, we, all, one we up. always have to have at least one Spielberg, one to, Spielberg. Pay, to, to, pay yeah, tribute. to pay tribute. We should have a Jurassic Park too, because that's one of the of best course, films of all time. Of course. Yeah. But yeah, uh, this is the fifth ones. Like I said, it's a coming of age of his, of his life. He's been working on this for a long, long time. I know he's had the idea since 1999, but, uh, yeah, it's a story about, I mean, really his parents and stuff. It's not, the kid's name is Sammy Fableman instead of Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, Spielberg had a crazy life. I don't know if you know anything about his childhood, but it's every filmmaker's dream. He hung out on the Universal Law every day. It was back in the 70s. People just led him on, or, or not in the 70s, way before, like the 50s yeah. or something. Man, people, back then you could just, kids could sneak on and no one would kick him off or anything. People, directors would allow him inside the editing room like huge huge directors would would allow him and that's so cool. they just loved him hanging around and everything when i do i do know his story more of like how he got into the industry obviously being friends with george lucas and stuff and all of them kind of collaborating yeah, and bouncing guys, ideas yeah, off each the, other the new wave of hollywood for sure was. there was a brilliant podcast it was a greatly produced podcast and i forget what the name is and it sucks that i forget but they did the whole story and they did voice actors and sound and it was awesome, but it was about the story of Spielberg and George Lucas. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and you should look that up because I'd be, I'd be. Yeah. Yeah, him, Scorsese, Lucas, uh, Coppola. Those were the yep. guys in the 70s. That was the new wave of Hollywood, and those guys took and boy, over. did they crush it. But all those guys were just uh, Cameron. I mean, all those guys were just fucking, it was so cool. You could do anything back then. You could just hang around Universal the lot. I mean, not the, not the, the theme the bar. Golden the golden age. The back lot. Yeah, the I mean, back it, lot. And, like, just... It's amazing. So this, if you love like the background of filmmaking, this movie, I'm sure will. Be oh, it's gonna all be right up our that. alley. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Because I'm sure there will be a lot of characters. I'm sure there will be a George Lucas esque inspired characters because they are best friends. Yeah, in real life, I mean. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what a life, man. But there's a big name. There's a big name there that I'm seeing that I'm all in on, and that's <laughs> that's my that's my guy, Paul Dano. Paul Dano, Michelle Williams is great. What about Seth Rogen up here? Oh, Seth Rogen okay. playing Seth Rogen playing who? Steven Spielberg's dad. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so he's. I'm assuming Steven Spielberg probably didn't have a good dad because it was real hard to find in the fifties. No, he he he's a good dad. He loved his dad. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Like any relationship, it's. You know, was strained, of course, I, but his yeah. dad was the one that I'm pretty sure was the one who really, really gave him the camera and really wanted him to be, like, really, really promoted. Oh, that's cool. Because his parents got divorced when he was very young age, and that's like, <laughs> every every great actor, anyone, anyone great artist in the world, I have a very uh, weird opinion, but everyone comes from some kind of trauma, and that's what makes you fucking... That's not a weird opinion. Look at any I great know. comedian ever throughout not the even, time of history. They even, all come from any great homes. artist. Uh, the I'm telling you, the better the artist, the worse the trauma. Well, Michael why, Jackson, he had the worst. Oh, if yeah. you read about Michael Jackson's childhood, you'd be like, oh, that's horrifying. I know, but that's why when I have children, they are going to go through a lot of trauma. <laughs> Just don't I'm be make there. A great don't even be there. Actor. That's the greatest trauma you can have. <laughs> uh, Just a joke, YouTube. Yeah, uh, yeah, trust me. Abandon your kids, <laughs> actors. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tremendous That's actors. actors. Because okay. they don't know how to be themselves. But I'm sure he would never tell you this, but a lot of people attribute that divorce to stunting uh, Spielberg's growth and making him very, in him keeping that childlike wonder. Yeah, well, it, it all off for him. Yeah, that's why yeah. He's, he's able to... Uh, to relate to, especially like child actors so well. Oh, he's, like he's incredible at casting child actors. He has definitely matured in the last 10 or 20 years where he does more mo mo mm -hmm. movies very serious and more to his heart for sure. He's not going back and doing an ETS film anytime soon, I don't think. But he's doing these... Uh, Dude, how old is he these days? 
Oh, he's got to be close to 80. 75. Wow. Oh, man, that's going to be a sad, sad day. Hopefully it'll be another 20, 25 years. Oh, God, the world's going to stop. Or at least the film war. I mean, Hollywood will. I know. Are will... You you want to jump into this? Oh, We're five it, minutes in. Let's, let's, do let's do it. Uh, we, just, we, we could talk all day about oh, Spielberg. Yeah. All right, here it is. Here is The Fablemans. Movies are dreams. That you never forget. Sammy? The lights change how everything looks. It's hard to find our house. Ours is the dark house with no lights. <laughs> Pretty easy to spot, Dad. <laughs> Maybe get out there and put some Christmas lights. In this lights family, on. it's the scientists versus the artists. Sammy's on my team, takes after me. What kind of movie are we going to make? Dismiss what he does. It's playful or imaginative. You could afford to be a little encouraging. She should have been a concert piano player. What she got in her heart is what you got. You can't just love something, you also have to take care of it. It's more important than your hobby. Can you stop calling it a hobby? Mom got a monkey. Why'd you get a monkey? Because I needed a laugh. You always have to be the center of attention. Stop shouting at her! That has been nothing but disrespect from you! I'm your mother! Family, art, <laughs> it'll tear you in two. You stop making movies, it'll break your mother's heart. I don't know what to do anymore. You do what your heart says you have to. What was your favorite part? Wow. Oh, you know that's going to be nominated for every Oscar. Every single one. <laughs> Just out of, before people even see it, you know, they're really like nominating everything. Just out of respect for Spielberg. Yeah, so Dan was playing his dad. I don't know who Seth Rogen's playing. Like an uncle or something? Yeah, it might be an uncle. Yeah. That sounds more like Seth Rogen's, sure. you know, a happy uncle or something. I'd rather Seth Rogen be my dad, honestly, than Dan is really? probably. I mean, in this, he looks like a hard ass. Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a hard Scientist ass. Scientist versus the artist. Yeah, I think that, that looks really good, though. It that's going to be a... It's going to be a real personal story for Spielberg. It that's for be. sure. Uh, yeah. He took a lot of time and care on it, though. So oh, for you know sure. It's be I know originally he didn't want to release it because he said it was going to hurt his parents too much. And now both of them are passed. Well, so. now you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's like, I'm in the clear. Yeah, I'm in the clear. But, uh, yeah, that looks really good in all seriousness. Yeah, it does. Uh, one of the ones I'm definitely excited for this year. When's that coming out? November, uh, November 23rd. 11th. Oh, November 11th. Yeah. Oh, well, why... Oh, expanding, yeah. Expanding. We won't get it November 11th. No, we won't. We'll have to drive But we'll you know this is going to be a big November release for us. This is one we're most certainly reviewing Oh, for on sure, podcast. definitely. Yeah, because this will be a big, like we said, uh, Oscar contender for yeah. sure. Looks awesome. All righty, well, that is our reaction to the Fablemans. If you like what you're seeing here, please be sure to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, try to make the push to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Each and every one of you guys make that happen. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. And until next time. Bye.